everyone and welcome back to my channel science for the curious mind have you ever felt like your brain has been short circuited when you hear terms like ai ml deep learning neural networks you're not the only one these words are everywhere so today let's keep it super simple no complicated jargons i promise so let's get started let's dive in so we want ai to think solve problems and take decisions based on a particular outcome like how humans do in the real world so these are done using artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is the umbrella under the main thing inside that comes machine learning and inside machine learning is neural networks consider it like russian nested dolls one doll inside another so the biggest doll being artificial intelligence and once you open that you find machine learning and once you open that inside is neural networks so that's how you can understand it so what is artificial intelligence you might have heard of something like alexa siri which you have in your phone google assist all of these so these are nothing but ai in behind the scenes so it's basically mimicking the human brain in action having the thinking so sol problem solving ability so that's ai even youtube recommendations what do you like to see next netflix recommendations you, because of your watch history you would like to see this next amazon shopping history simple enough right but how do you make artificial intelligence smart enough using machine learning you give it lots of images for example cat and dog images you train the data set on multiple dogs and cat images it takes all the pixels makes a study and then it's able to tell us if it's a dog or a cat even though it's in different postures later on this can be extended to the study of cancer detection which is used in the field of healthcare and medicine even in video game industry this has been used so this helpful in training ai with lots of data which is called machine learning so you can look at machine learning as a way of achieving ai using multiple dog and cat images you train the ai and it's able to detect even though it's sitting in a different posture than the one you trained it on testing data set can be different from the training data set even span filtering in gmail you have a classification problem it is called is it a spam or not a spam so based on that filtering is done by gmail so gmail has already implemented ai trained it on different data sets so let's go to the next russian doll deep learning and deep learning is a type of machine learning and machine learning enables us to learn from data and deep learning is its subset and that basically enables ai to consider it as a human brain inside human brain we have multiple neurons and electric impulses passing between different neurons right so same thing is mimicked in something its neural networks so neural networks have nodes multiple nodes and layers and layers of the network so that's how neural network works and it's a subset of deep learning learning as you know comes in multiple layers of networks so the first layer being it is to spot simple things like for example the corners or edges of an image the next layer might help you to use that edges to find the sides of those shapes and the next layer will combine those shapes and recognize 
oh this is the eyes or a nose of a cat and then final layer is going to tell you this is a cat so that's how ai recognizes that using pixels through multiple layers it recognizes this is a cat image that is deep learning is fantastic for real complicated tasks for example understanding human speech so that the speech or audio is converted to text and also advanced image recognition so where is that used driving self driving cars to see pedestrians or if there are cars nearby getting the scenario or sensing the road for a self driving car finally what's the engine that powers deep learning its neural networks it's also called as artificial neural networks ann for short neural networks are the actual structures the algorithms that are inspired by by how the brains work for example brain has billions of neurons right and each is connected to one another and then there is electrical impulses artificial neural networks works and tries to mimic this same similar behavior we have something called nodes and nodes are getting connected to each other exactly like the neurons and it is present in layers so neural networks are a type of machine learning algorithm by learning patterns in the data and able to make predictions from data the node processes the data and learns from the patterns enables tasks like image recognition it is used in self driving cars and also in macbook for face recognition as password right or surface laptop and also in natural language processing text to speech conversion speech to text conversion so on and also it's a structured network so neural networks are built from a large uh, layer of nodes or neurons as we call it because it's a replica of like human brains with neurons and electric impulses as i said before input layer this layer is one of that gets raw data input from the it's the first layer which takes your data and then there are several hidden layers these layers get the input data build upon the previous layer and they do all the processing the pattern recognition so on if it's uh, image recognition for example it sees so these points add up and these are the edges and then the next one will say oh this is the face or this is the nose and so on and the output layer is the layer which is the final layer which will tell us so this is the final a uh, decision that it has taken from all its previous layers of course so it says hey it's a cat or a dog or whatever that's the final decision and then there is learning so what is that neural networks adjust weights and uh, refine from their previous uh, layers so on they build build from it so if a particular parameter say for example i have a training data set in context to amazon for example it's a shopping cart right so it has been trained on a data set which was previously the data lying with amazon and it has been trained so which parameters trigger the price changes for example it could be festivals like christmas deepavali during which time there are peak sales and so the system is able to learn the data recognize patterns oh this event happened so there were huge sales right so you are the neural network learns from such data and analysis and if there is winter the winter clothing sales has taken 
a high right so during that time so it is seasonal sale so different parameters the neural networks learns from that and it has been trained on a data set which is the past histo historical data and then it moves forward taking decisions and let's look at the applications neural networks are used in natural language processing and predictive analysis so we are able to predict so how much inventory is required for a particular uh, apparels or bags or shoes so amazon is able to decide so i have taken for this whole analysis you know example of amazon and that's how we can understand things better right if you take an example so let's look at what is linear regression model it's a way of predictive analysis so it that's the approach uh, linear regression model is used in neural networks for predictive analysis and thinking of this from the context of Amazon will help you understand so what should be the prices how to price there are the pricing managers in Amazon so they are able to predict what should I price it? What what should be the off season price? When to mark it down? When to increase price? When to lower it? Be based on supply demand chain, and this is all getting collected through the neural networks. So that's a lot of information for one video. So I'll be wrapping it up, and the next video that I'm going to be putting out is about more about linear regression model. So stay tuned to the channel for more such videos where you can learn ai in a easy to understand fashion i hope this was informative and useful please share it with your friends and family thank you